the hole down, I'm Count Zero. This weekend I had planned a different video, one which has been recorded and will go out next week. However, a new story came up which compelled me to drop everything and address it. Specifically in a lawsuit involving the current reigning grumpy old man of science fiction, Harlan Ellison. The Hollywood Reporter ran an article today, today being September 16th, um, about a lawsuit that Harlan has filed over the soon-to-be-released film In Time, written and directed by Andrew Nichol, who you may know as the writer of The Truman Show and writer and director of Gattaca and Lord of War. The film is set in a future where humans do not live past the age of 26. When they hit 25, they stop aging, and unless they can purchase additional years onto their life, they die. If this premise sounds familiar at all, then it may be due to similarities to the film Logan's Run, except with an added bit of well, commercialist, anti-commercialist message there. Harlan is specifically suing because of similarities to his story Repent Harlequin Said the TikTok Man, um, related to similarities in the plot, um, the existence of timekeepers in the film who enforce the time limit, and their similarities to the TikTok Man of the book, and the existence of rebels against the establishment. I find this kind of dubious. In Repent, Harle in Repent Harlequin, people's lives are truncated as punishment for being late in a 1984-esque dystopian rigid police state that's heavy, heavily corporatized. Um, the re rebels against the establishment, or rather rebel, re rebel singular, the titular Harlequin, is very is passive. Not basically passive, passive, but he is a peaceful protest or engaging in passive, resist passive resistance by throwing jelly beans at people um, and being late for everything. The exist um, and well, that's the, that's the main difference there. Also, oh, in the film, timekeepers, plural. TikTok man, singular, in the book. So, I find that kind of dubious. Um, Harlan kind of won a lawsuit like this once before. He sued over similarities to the work um, The Terminator, as in the James Cameron film, and, sim and alleged similarities to the, sh um, the Outer Limits episodes Soldier and Demon with a Glass Hand that he wrote. He settled, and his name is in the credits of The Terminator, if you look for it. He, and he gets a bit of money every time you buy a copy of The Terminator. Now... The difference here is he's not asking for his name in the credits. He's not asking for money. What he wants in this film, or from this film, is he wants the film's release to be canceled, and he wants, well, every existing print of the film to be destroyed. I think this is a major motion picture starring Olivia Wilde, um, Justin Timberlake, and Cillian Murphy. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think any studio that sunk this much money into the film, especially with the movie coming out in less than a month, practically, is going to eat several million dollars and just walk in losses and walk away and expect to get that back in a different project. I just don't think that's going to happen here. I think they're going to fight it, and I don't think Harlan's going to win. If anything, he'll get a settlement that gets him some money off of it. But so this does make it this does make me ask the question, Harlan, what's wrong with you? You're one of the greatest living science fiction writers. You're still active with seven short stories published in the last ten years, according to the Internet Science Fiction Database. Yet you continue to be a noxious prick in public. You insulted Gabe and Tycho of Penny Arcade at the Fool's Cap convention because Gabe didn't know what Fool's Cap paper was. You groped Connie Willis on stage at the Hugo Awards ceremony. It's on video, all you gotta do is look for Han Harlan Nelson Grope on YouTube or Google Video or wherever, and you'll find it. There is plenty of evidence of that. So, and then when you when there was an outcry over this, when people complained and said that you behaved improperly, you blamed Connie Willis for not playing along with your quote unquote puckish behavior. And then there's this lawsuit, Harlan. I'm going to be blunt because I like science fiction. You've written some of the best works in this science fiction. And you are one of the elder statesmen of science fiction right now. 
problem is you've gone from science fiction's greatest living writer to science fiction's greatest living joke. You've become the grumpy old man on the porch complaining about the damn kids who need to get off his lawn. You've succumbed to the brain eater, and you didn't succumb to it in the Robert Heinlein um, dirty old man sense. You have become a misanthrope like Dave Sim. That's not, that's not, actually, that's not totally true. Dave Sim became a misogynist. You just became a misanthrope. You hate everyone. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing your fans. You're embarrassing science fiction. You're near destroying your legacy. And you're trying to take a good take a good creator down with you in the form of Nickel. If this film is crushed, if you actually win this somehow, this could do horrible things to Nickel's career. This could possibly I'm not gonna say it's gonna totally kill his career, but it may I mean this would be the biggest bomb that any studio has ever suffered because Rather than it's it's not making a hundred thousand dollars on a multi-million dollar blockbuster, it, it it's losing everything, everything. And you're doing this to a film which could be one of the best science, which could be the year's best science fiction film. You're doing it to a creator who's made some of the best science fiction films of the past. De few decades. In fact, I'd say that Nickel is one of the best science fiction filmmakers of his generation. If not of the... of Since, since he's created films, he created some of the best science fiction films of this era. Of that era. Or at least speculative fiction. You want this, if you want to self-destruct, Harlan, that's fine. Destroy your career. Destroy your legacy. Have you be remembered as a curmudgeon, not a brilliant writer. If you want to do that, that's fine. I'm not going to stop you. I couldn't stop you if I wanted to. Don't take someone else down with you. I'd rather you didn't self-destruct. I'd rather you became a... You took advantage of your position in science fiction fandom and in the history of science fiction to speak out in favor of science fiction, to advocate for this genre, which we love so much, to advocate in favor of science, and to be a figure speaking out against political candidates, businessmen, what have you, who dismiss science in favor, of, in favor of the bottom line. If you want to be the angry young man in your old age, that would be what you do. That would be how you do it. But instead, you're becoming a joke, and, a, and you've definitely become a jerk. Now, if you excuse me, there's the plate I dropped earlier, when I, so I need to go replace that. So until next time, I'm Count Zero. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.